Hi Capricorn, welcome to your spirit guide messages for the month of November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. Thank you to everybody for all your support, whether you're a new subscriber, whether you've reached out for personal reading, or bless me with an energy exchange, as in a tip donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you. I could not do this without you guys. So thank you for all the support and being a part of the channel's growth and helping me to get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Capricorn, what does Spirit want you to know at this time? Can be from whenever you see this tell whenever I do consider all my readings timeless even though they are dated um, I just put the date on them so people know in what order they've been uh, uploaded so I do consider them all timeless so please take only what resonates here and I guess throw away the rest and I hope everybody's doing well happy fall happy November Capricorn what does spirit want you to know at this time for Capricorn I will get three messages from each tarot uh, oracle deck. Clarify it with the tarot if you want to skip ahead while I uh, draw out the cards. That's totally fine. All right, Capricorn. What does spirit want you to know at this time? What does spirit want you to know, Capricorn? What do you want to tell Capricorn at this time, spirit, please? Wow. <laughs> And we had three cards here just like fly out together. So those are your messages. Wow. All right. So let's get three from this deck. Let's get three from this deck. This deck I'll probably read a little bit from the book since it doesn't really say much on these cards. So um, I'll probably read a little bit from the book. I think they're upside down. Okay. So three messages for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know at this time? Spirit, please. All right. This one wanted to fly, but it didn't. All right. Two more messages for Capricorn, please. Thank you so much. That one. One more message for Capricorn. One more message for Capricorn. Oh. One there wanted to come flying out, but it didn't. One more. Okay, we'll take this one. All right, so let's get three from this deck here. Get your mess all your messages, and then I'll show you what they are. We'll clarify uh, one tarot per card, just for a little extra clarification. For you Capricorn, these are your spirit guide messages messages from spirit what you need to know at the time you watch this we have a few more for capricorn spirit please a few more for capricorn thank you so much what does capricorn need to know at this time one more one more all right, let's see what we have, Capricorn. Let's see what we have. We have Opal, let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So this is telling you, don't be afraid to be who you truly are. Be authentic, authentic to yourself. Um, just let yourself be who you are and don't be afraid to show yourself to the world, to people around you. Don't be shy, don't hold back. Don't be uh, something that you're not. Don't be what you think others perceive you to be. This is telling you just to be yourself and just let yourself sparkle and shine. And then we have here Yellow Jasper, control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. So this is telling you to, if you have people around you that either you let walk all over you or you let control you or something like that, it's time to stand up for yourself, take a stance, stand on your ground. Um, you do have that strength and power within you to um, stand up to that. And also, um, even though it says 
Others may try to control you. I feel like if you try to control, if you're a very controlling person and you try to control everything around you, like you have to decide on everything, you know, that kind of energy too. You may need to um, kind of let that energy go a little bit too. And then we have Malkalite here, prosperity. There is a positive shift in your flow of divine support. So you may have prosperity and abundance, and abundance coming in here. Um, and I think divine is going to give you some divine support here. It could be financially. It could be, could be anything. It could be gifts, some sort of gifts coming your way, unexpected gifts or something like that. Hmm. Okay. So what do we have here? We have dragon. So this is slaying those dragons that are no longer serving you. Fears, doubts, negative, toxic, toxic energy, um, obsessions, addictions, or people around you that are, you know, very toxic and standing your ground, standing your ground here or control issues and slaying those dragons. That's fire energy. So that's drive, ambition, passion, and being fiery. Maybe time to stop being fiery. Slay those dragons. Wow, a lot of fire. Now we're getting more fire salamander here so i'm not quite sure what the salamander is so i may look that up in the book and now we have um air energy here with spider I think that's air so this is you know being the weaver of your own dreams you know making your dreams become reality you know the spider works very hard they weave their web so this is weaving your dreams into reality oh we got four cards here okay I'm going to take these three right here. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have Ornamental Equinox Release. So, and we're just coming into the autumn season now. So this is about releasing, again, things no longer serving you. Release, slaying those dragons and releasing things no longer serving you. Wow, okay. I feel like that goes hand in hand here. Okay, so what do we have here? Clouds, shape-shifting. So uh, this could probably, you know, speak of, I may read a little bit about that too, about um, maybe not seeing things clearly, like feeling like things are clouded over and you can't really see the true nature of things or of something around you. you may need to find out all the facts so you can see things clearly. I mean, things may look like they're one way when really they're not. And now we have dream time creation. And I saw that in the when I was shuffling, it flipped, kind of flipped in my hand and it came out here. So if you're thinking about creating, if you're dreaming, so, wow. So I had said here, um, wow, and Spirit's confirming that, creating your dreams into reality, weaving that web, being your own dream weaver. And here we have a dream time and weaver of your dreams with the spider energy. Wow. So there's something here that you feel like, you know, you've been wanting to create or pursue an endeavor, a project, career, whatever it is here. This is time, you know, to bring it from dreams into reality and getting into that creation mode. Wow. Okay. So... All right, so I think I'm going to clarify these, and then I'll read a little bit over here with um, these, and then I'll clarify those. All right, so let's shuffle these up a little bit. So we've got a lot of different messages here. I feel like these two go together, and I feel like release and dragon goes together, like releasing and slaying those dragons no longer serving you. Uh, I'm not sure what the salamander is, so I'm going to read a little bit about that after. Okay, and I feel like also with prosperity and creation and spider, like being that dream weaver and, you know, dreaming, creating and weaving your dreams into reality will bring in this prosperity for you also. And control issues could be just about, you know, may not be control issues it may be just you now just needing to take control take charge of your life if you feel like you want to pursue something here that you've been dreaming about creating 
This is probably telling you now is probably the time to do it. All right, so what is let yourself sparkle and shine? You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So what is that about for <clears throat> Capricorn? Can we clarify that? The Capricorn spirit, please. Thank you so much. Justice. So, you know, this is about clarity, truth, communication, uh, balancing out the scales. So I feel like the justice here and let yourself sparkle and shine. I feel like you're not doing yourself justice by showing your true self to those around you. You know, you know maybe you're kind of uh, shy or maybe you're kind of withdrawn, maybe an introvert or something like that. And I feel like you're not doing yourself justice and you're not doing anybody else justice around, justice around you by holding back your true nature, your true self, your true personality, your light. It's time to come, like, come out of your shell and let yourself be known to everybody around you. All right, so what is control issues about here for you, Capricorn? What are the control issues? What is that about for you, Capricorn? Spirit, please. What is that about for Capricorn? The Emperor. So, wow. <laughs> and I had felt that energy. Can be Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter here. But I had felt that energy when I got this control issues card immediately thought of the emperor or the empress here, somebody who's in control, who's in charge, who takes the lead, who has to have control of everything, every choice, every decision, uh, the way things are going, like every single aspect of everything. So this is telling you if you're not in that energy, that you probably need to be more in that energy, or if you are too much in that energy, you need to control that a little bit. So only you know whatever message works for you. If you're letting people walk all over you, if you're, you know, not letting other people make your choices and decisions and that kind of energy, you know, it's time to take the lead, take control of your life, of you. And if you're too controlling and you know that and it's hard to break free from that, I think spirit wants you to know you need to kind of hold back and control that energy a little bit. So whatever message fits you, I'd say that's what spirit wants you to know right now. Okay, so, and some of you, it could be, um, maybe it is a boss at work or something like that. It's very, very controlling. So, uh, but you do have strength and power to stand up. I mean, I'm not saying do something to get fired, but maybe, you know, if you do something and stand up out of the ordinary, you know, maybe this person will respect you more and they won't be so, um, controlling or walking or walk all over you um if that's what they're doing here okay so what is this prosperity about for capricorn what is this prosperity about for capricorn spirit please for cups yeah so i feel like some of you could be bored um you know just feeling blah bored and um just ugh. You know, but I, you know, this is divine energy here with that cup here that you're not seeing. Something is going to be coming your way that's going to be un unexpected that you're not going to see, and it's going to bring you bring into you a lot of prosperity. It could be an unexpected gift of money. You could unexpectedly win money in the lottery or something, or some sort of gift or something here, or a new job opportunity or or a raise, promotion, something unexpected is going to happen. You know, you're, you're just going along, feeling blah, content, bored, and ugh. Then all of a sudden, boom, here it comes. And now you have sudden uh, prosperity. Wow, okay. So you may have something un unexpected. And it says a positive shift in your flow of divine support. Wow. And as I said that, the Ace of Pentacles fell out here. So this is a brand new beginning, divinely guided here, of growth, abundance, prosperity, um, building on a firm foundation for the future. Wow. 
So, yeah, and, and that's so funny because I said a divine offer coming into you, and here's that divine offer with the pentacles. So it could be something monetary. It could be something, um, it could be, you know, a raise, promotion, a new job, or something here. Something unexpected, which will give you much more prosperity, sta stability, and growth and expansion for your future for the long term. Possibly for the rest of your life. Pentacles, very slow, some kind of slow, sometimes slow energy, but it's very secure, stable energy full of growth and abundance for the long term. So that's a good energy. Divinely guided and divine support there. So, wow. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so let's see. No, I kind of know what dragon is about slaying those dragons that are no longer serving you. People, places, things, obsessions, addictions, um, anything here. So what is that about for, you know, standing up to things no longer serving you and slaying those energies? A lot of drive, ambition, and passion. So what is that? What is dragon about here for... That you do have that fiery energy to do this, to slay those dragons. So what are the dragons? What are the dragons that we are slaying? Well, we got the three of wands energy here. So this is an energy of like seeing your future out into the distance, but there's a period of patiently waiting because it's not the right time. And you have to wait till those ships dock up and then you can venture out into the new beginning. So until you slay the dragons that are no longer serving you, then you, you're not going to move forward in this new beginning, if that makes sense for some of you. Um, there may be something here holding you back that you need to slay from moving forward into uh, something new here. All right, so let's see salamander i'm not sure what that is let's see that is um here's my kitty hi kitty uh salamander okay commitment contentment basking in the good things of life being renewed by warmth so yeah so i feel wow so <laughs> once you get through all this energy here then you're gonna have contentment basking in the good things of life and being like renewed in life like feeling totally renewed by you know slaying those dragons then being in enabling you to move forward you know the ships will dock up you can move forward you know something divinely guided to you is going to come to you unexpectedly i feel bring you this prosperity um all right so what is this salamander about what is this salamander about or wow wow so we have the ace of cups this is a so you got the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups so this could be i mean this could be a new love this could be just self-fulfillment of uh self-love prosperity happiness and joy peace contentment harmony um compassion energy overflowing energy here divinely guided like feeling so full of life and basking in that energy of feeling so content with your life now with this divinely guided ace of cups spiritual could be a big spiritual awakening also wow i'm feeling like just like self-love and peace and harmony contentment within yourself your home your family if you're already in a relationship or family things are going to be much better much more peace and much more peace and harmony and fulfillment and some of you could be uh, basking in a brand new love if you're single so different messages there so you take what resonates so spider i believe is you know weaving your dreams into reality um greater connections the web which ties us all together communication so so it says look for ways to build connections um but I'm also getting here, you know, it's all about building. Again, like dream weaving and weaving your dreams into reality through connections, through, you know, web weaving and that sort of energy. Also, community, different, you know, 
things like that. Okay, so let's see what the spider is about. Wow. So we have the Prince of Pentacles. So this is, you know, as a knight, but he moves very slowly. So, you know, it takes a while here for a spider to weave their web, but slow moving energy, but again, very stable, secure, grounded energy. Um, taking that action, moving forward and building and building here, building your web, building your dreams into reality. Maybe a slow, steady process, but pentacles are all about stability, growth, expansion, prosperity, building for the long term and taking action, you know, taking a very practical approach also, smart, analytical, business kind of savvy kind of energy, just a very uh, practical approach also. So moving forward, building those connections, building those webs, you know, weaving those dreams into reality. Slow and steady wins the race here. Okay, so, wow, what are we releasing here? So what do you need to release here, this autumn equinox, as we're just coming into that now? Well, we got judgment here. So this is about forgiveness. This is about resurrection. This is about... Um, making a final judgment call. It's also about peace and harmony. So some of you may need to make a final decision here to making a final judgment call to release some things here that are no longer serving you. It could also be forgiving things of the past and releasing those judgments, releasing those um, regrets, resentment, all that kind of energy. Just making that judgment call to release all that, forgive. This is all about forgiveness, resurrection, healing, and making judgment calls here. So some of you may need to do that, release, to release that energy, and just finally make that judgment call to do that. Forgive it, release it, and move on from it. You may not forget, but you can forgive, heal, and move on and just release it. And it could be resurrecting relationships you know, friends, family that you haven't been in contact with or um, that kind of energy also. All right, so what is this shape-shifting? Now, I want to read a little bit about clouds here. What is this shape-shifting? Okay, so let's see. Don't really want to read the whole thing here, but so I guess it's uh, telling you here to in both subtle and more dramatic ways you can shape shift. You can shape shift by your inner by your choice of clothing, hairstyle, adornments, and even mannerisms such as facial expressions, gestures, and the way you walk. By adjusting these along with your internal attitude, you can actually display different personas. When you experiment with these variations of self-expression that are not how you ordinarily present yourself, others will react to you depending on the, on the degree in which your persona contrasts with one they are most familiar with. Be like the clouds as you Try out different forms, stretching your limits at times, willing to move and adjust as necessary. All right, so, you know, I guess that's about, you know, changing your mannerisms or uh, trying to be more confident, you know, try to be more confident or happy, you know, just different personas. So let's kind of an odd message I feel but I don't know let's see here what is this about for Capricorn so now we got the Prince of Wands so you no know, the Prince of Wands here goes so you got the Prince of Pentacles over there which is that slow and steady wins the race but then the <laughs> Prince of Wands is a very he's he moves more quicker than the Prince of Pentacles so this is moving with a lot of drive ambition fire passion Go-getter, going after what you want, a lot of drive and ambition. 
So, you know, shape-shifting, you know, going from, I guess, back and forth, slow and steady wins the race, and then just going after it, a lot of drive, ambition, passion, go-getter, but then pulling back and taking a more sled, slow, steady, practical approach. That's almost like shape-shifting. So you may need to balance your energy, you know. Also, if you're not one who usually is, uh, like, just, like, jumps into things, maybe Spirit's telling you here, you know, try it. Give it a try, you know. If you, you know, usually think and contemplate about things before you try them, Spirit's probably saying here, you know, maybe it's time not to think so much about things and just jump jump right into it. Give it a try, you know. All right, so what is this dream, dream time creation about for Capricorn? What is this dream time uh, creation about for Capricorn? Wow. So, <laughs> so we have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is total wealth, abundance, prosperity, growth, expansion, monetary gain, you know, and not having to worry about your finances, being financially set here. Wow. So I feel like whatever you've been dreaming about creating here, it's time to bring this dream into reality because I see total abundance here and prosperity is you got prosperity also here. Wow. Wow, Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to go over the bottom of the deck, but before I do that, Capricorn, if you like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit, don't forget to hit the bell, and you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. You'll get a spirit guide messages. You'll get, if you're single, a singles reading who's coming towards you. If you're in connection with somebody, I do a love connection reading, and I do a general tarot forecast also, which is a general reading. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe and hit the bell and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. So let's see what's on the bottom here. So we have the two of wands. So this is about making decisions and plans uh, for your future moving forward. So now, you know, once you decide here what you want to do here, you're able to move forward. A lot of that drive, ambition, and fire energy again. Ten of cups. So here you have total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, wow. King of Cups, so again, being in that loving, caring, nurturing, giving energy, high vibration, uh, peaceful, calm, compassionate energy, full of love and life and vigor for you, yourself and those around you, your family, your home, the Hierophant. So commitment, being totally committed on your path here. Also, some of you, I mean, this does speak of marriage, we do have the King of Cups. So there's somebody here, if you're wondering if they love you, yes, they do. I see a commitment here, or a possible marriage. A total happiness and joy with the Ten of Cups energy here. And we got the Seven of Wands. So again, I feel like, you know, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in. Um, you know, it's about taking a stance and being on guard. But I just feel like here, if there's... Could be this emperor energy over here. If you're letting people control you, walk all over you, it's time to take a stance, to stand up for yourself, put up this wand, and uh, defend yourself. Some of you may be getting committed or married to someone who does love you, and you'll have total fulfillment, fulfillment, happiness, and joy, happy home and family. Setting off on a new direction, making plans, decisions for your future. So a lot of different messages here, Capricorn. So I guess take what resonates, throw away the rest. So good luck to you and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.